just, I just don't think I can do it this year. I can't. No, no, I can't. No, no, I can't. Daria, you just don't get it. <sighs> Daria, you just don't get it. You have the gallery, you have Kira. Every year, my family just tortures me for still being single. Oh, no, no, it'll be a million times worse with my brother getting married in the spring. Mm. I can't even compete. I got nothing. Of course, I still have you. You know, I didn't mean that. Are you hiding out in a blanket fort? No, I am not hiding out in a blanket fort. What am I, five? You've left a whole telephone cord of evidence, Jane. Are you gonna come out or do I have to follow this travesty to the source? Daria, I would like to be the first person to tell you I'm hiding out in a blanket fort. Really? Yes. Okay. Scoot over. I'm coming in. Okay. No? Tell me what's going on. I just... I just feel like everyone I know is just making these huge steps forward. And I just keep falling backwards. Mm -hmm. I used to have my job to sort of deflect focus, but then the tech company laid me off, and then, yeah. It's just bleak. It's just, it's just, it's just bad. Honey, the holidays are always bleak, but that's what family's for. To cheer me up. Yes, yes, I think going on for the holidays will cheer you up. Your folks are great. And still think I have a thriving career in tech support. Well, I mean, it's Thanksgiving. It's the official holiday of family bonding and uh, avoiding your problems. <laughs> it's actually the perfect time to tell them. Mm, Greg's been such a jerk to me lately. My brother is... is always a jerk, okay? He's just jealous of everything you have. Oh, he is going to love me this year. It's you know what be... I mean. <laughs> Stop. You got out to the big city and he's still living in Oak Junction on the same block we all grew up on. Mm, sometimes I think that's not actually so bad. Well, you're in crisis, so stop talking like that. You reminded me of that. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I just... No, I'm gonna cancel. No, I can't, I can't. Jane! I, I... No, you're not doing this again, okay? Now come on, let's get out of here. It's not going to be so bad, okay? And if you ever feel lost, listen to me. If you ever feel lost, I'm only a phone call away, okay? Do you promise? Actually, that depends. Are you, um, are you committing to this whole landline thing? Because... It's very comforting. <laughs> you and your old things. <laughs> I get it. Remember, a phone call away. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. I can't feel my legs. Roadside man. I'm not getting axe murdered this holiday season. I guess I could just roll down my window. I'll skip into the tow truck or something. Okay. Hey, 
Uh, thanks. Hey. Thanks for stopping. I have mace. OK. Uh, like the spiky ball thing, or like the stranger danger kind of? Just don't do anything funny. OK? Okie dokie. You, uh, you always so aggressive with the people that you save roadside? Mm, catching me on a good day. Chris. Jane. Yeah. What happened here? Uh, well, she started sputtering out a few miles back, and then, then she stopped doing that altogether, so. Did you call anybody? Also, my phone is dead. Oh. Yeah. You know, you can charge those right into the car nowadays. Just jam it right into the A-Track player? <laughs> I wish I knew that. <sighs> that would have been... It's my dad's old car. I like old stuff. Yeah, me too. It's comforting. Yeah. Did you want to call it? Can I do that? That would be amazing. Yeah, Please, okay? yeah, yeah, totally. Here, Thank you so use much. my phone. That's amazing. Thanks. Yep. Thank you for this. Mm. Hey, hi. Uh, I broke down on uh, on Highway Four. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just the exit from from Steinbeck. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, uh, Old Lincoln. Mark Five. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you can't miss me. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just on my way to Hope Junction. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks, I appreciate that. Okay, great. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. Great. I'm saved. You saved me. Great. Um, did I just hear you say you're heading to Hope Junction? Yeah, I've got a, um, I got a conference. Small world. I got a family there. You don't say? Yeah. You just heading back for Thanksgiving? Yeah, I guess so. Do you want to ride? Yep, yep. Can I really? Yeah. Also, thank you. No, thank you. That's, that, that's amazing. <laughs> really? Yes. Hop on in. It'd be weird if you said no now. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for stopping for me back there. Oh. Mighty decent. Don't worry about it. So, where are you staying? The Bumblebee Inn. No way. Yeah, Pope Junction staple. Really? Yeah. Me too. Really? <laughs> well, I thought you said you had family in town. I do. I do. Um, my parents and my brother. But there's just, um, there's just a lot going on right now. So, um, I think it's just easier if I stay at a hotel. Sounds tumultuous. It's really not. Well, if you ever want to talk about it. No, far be it from me. I mean, I'm just a wayward English teacher. Making my way across this great country of ours, you know, boxcar to boxcar, keeping a meal in my belly every time. <laughs> it's a time. I'm a pie cooling on a Rockwellian windowsill. You know, just me and my bindle. The kindness of strangers like yourself. Wow, well, that is mighty decent of you, that offer. Wow. But uh, we just met, so I think I'm gonna pass. You know, I grew up in Hope Junction. Hmm. Not much to it, huh? I wouldn't say that. I think some of my fondest memories are in Hope Junction. It's good people. I moved away as soon as I could. But you're back. For Thanksgiving. I don't think I could ever move back. Right. Welcome to the Bumblebee Inn. My name is Eloise. How can I help you? Hi, I'm checking in. Yes, of course. And is the reservation under your name or your boyfriend's? My who? Oh, no, 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 no. He's not my boyfriend. Oh, I'm so sorry. Your fiance. 
No, no, no. Your no. husband? We just met. She picked me up off the road. Oh. <laughs> I have a reservation under Jane uh, for myself. So just to confirm, these are two separate reservations. Absolutely separate. That's right. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're like two peas in a pod. Mm. Two peas uh, in a separate pod who just met. Two nuts, you know, like in their own shells. Like, like a hazelnut and a shea nut. Technically, a shea nut is a berry. Yeah, that's right. It is, yeah. No nuts are just nuts anymore, you know? <laughs> no, like peanuts are legumes, shea nuts are berries, and then the other day someone told me a cashew is a fruit. Hmm. I mean, I'm convinced that nuts are the swindlers of the protein world. Absolutely, it's a complete conspiracy. I mean, really, it's propaganda being put out there by Big Walnut to keep the little nut down. I'm allergic to nuts. Huh. Oh. I'm going to need a credit card to hold against incidentals. One from each nut. Of course. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Fantastic. Thank mm. you. Mm. OK, here you go. Thank you and very much. Here you go. Room number two oh. for you. And room number Thank four. You. Happy Thanksgiving to you both. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. I guess we're neighbors. I guess so. Enjoy your stay. Hey, Daria, it's me. Just calling to let you know that despite your total lies about the weather, I've made it to Hope Junction safe and sound. I even did my seasonal good deed and helped out this guy whose car broke down. Okay, this is gonna sound really weird, but there was something so familiar about him, like, I don't know, like he was a song I used to have memorized or something. You know what? I sound ridiculous. I'm probably just wiped. Uh, talk to you tomorrow, girl. can't cook. You can hold a spoon, can't you? Uh, here. Stir this. Make sure it doesn't boil over. Yeah, yeah. Okay? The kids should be here soon. Took them long enough. I thought Jane was supposed to get here last night. She called earlier. She's been delayed. Mm. Well, Mercury is in retrograde. What? The basic astrology, love. So you learned how to tell fortunes at hairdressing school? Astrology, stars. Oh, you're thinking of cosmetology. Oh, that must be them. Happy Thanksgiving! Oh, honey, it's so good to see Mama. you. Come in, come in. <laughs> so, any news from the city? I, um, oh, I, um, hmm? uh... It's always so exciting hearing what you're up to. I, I know Greg and Angela are on their way to giving us grandchildren, but you, Janie, you are setting your mark on the world. Ah, <laughs> everything's great. Well, why rush through all the news right now, right? Yeah. All week. Yeah, I suppose we do. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Uh... I'm just fixing breakfast. Very attentive. <laughs> Look who I found on their doorstep. Jane, sweetie, <laughs> we're so happy you made it. Hi, Dad. Did you get the package I sent you? I did. Real ham radios at the flea market for a steal. Can you believe it? I love them. Now you can just radio directly and with good news. I can't just text? Where's the panache? Where's the fanfare? Where do you get a big promotion? Ham radio says news happened. What have we got here? Well, the usual bacon, juice, scones. How continental. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> well, you are still the best baker in this galaxy. Uh, just the galaxy? Well, the universe is ever expanding. 
I mean, you gotta leave room for the unexpected. You never know when things can change. Well, maybe you'll win the Thanksgiving Bake Off and dethrone me this year. Your mother isn't competing because it isn't fair, but she's very excited to watch. You bet. Do you have a partner yet, Jane? About that. D -d don't get all wrapped up about the fact that most of the other teams are couples. You don't have to pair up with a romantic partner. I know that, Mom. <gasps> I should phone Mrs. Yarrow. Mom? No, oh, she would know all kinds of nice men to set you up with. She knows everybody. Bonjour. Uh, that must be your brother. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi. Jane, good to see you. Mm-hmm. Hi, Greg. Long time no see. I'm planning a wedding, Jane. Keeps me very busy. Ah, oh, you're getting married, huh? I didn't know that. You haven't changed a bit. We were just talking about the big Thanksgiving bake-off. Oh, yeah? Ready to get creamed? I am going to wipe the floor with you. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. The floor is going to be so clean, you're going to be eating my prize-winning pie off of it. So you would like me to make a call? There's no need, Mom. I, um... I already have a date uh, in mind, actually. Will you excuse me for a second? Ooh. What's for breakfast? I already have a date in mind. How could you do that? Why would you say that? Who can you call in this town? Who can I call this the town? Jane? Everything okay in there? I'm fine, Mom. Play this out. I gotta play this out. I gotta play this out. How am I gonna play this out? How am I gonna play this out? It's just delicious. <laughs> oh, everything okay, sweetie? Yes, of course. I guess I'm just a little tired from the drive, you know. We are gonna have so much fun this week. <laughs> Any other big plans? Or? Oh, lots. You know the holidays. Never a dull moment. <laughs> but oh, I do have something very special planned for the two of you. Could you go to the grocery store for me? People will be coming in a few hours, and I still have a million things to do. I would be delighted. Well, are you coming? No. Yeah, there's no time like the present. But, but my... Yeah, your bacon will be here when you get back. Maybe. Oh. Let's go, let's motor! And I got a promotion at work, and preparations for the wedding have been moving along great, too. Such a renaissance man. Yes. You know, Angela has been so into the wedding planning. This has really been my year. Amazing. You know, you could show a little more enthusiasm. I'm sorry. Awesome. It is awesome. Wow. You know what? Is there an off button to this? You don't always have to be so smug. Oh, well, you don't have to be such a bitter spinster, but... Mm. Excuse me? Well, relax. I'm just kidding. What did you just say? Well, I just called you a bitter spinster. No, I know. I heard you. It well, wasn't funny. Did that uh, touch a nerve or something? Well, that's it. We are splitting up. I am going to take care of this, as I always do. You just stay here. Mm -hmm. What you good at? Mm -hmm. I am not smug. Hmm? Would someone smug look at a potato? It is the least pretentious food there is. She is the smug one. I'm talking to a vegetable. Greg Lane? Chris Lillehammer. Whoa! Hey, whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh. How long has it been? Since college. What, how, how are you? What are you doing at home? Hey, I heard your folks died. They retired. I heard dead. Oh, hey, listen, anyway, um, do you remember my sister, Jane? Uh, she's in town, too. You know, I, I do remember Jane. Yeah, right, because you guys had that thing. Yeah, last I heard, she was conjuring Bloody Mary at slumber parties to it, put a hex on me. Yeah, dark times. Listen, um, would you like to come over to the house later? My parents are having a little sank set. Maybe check with your sister first, see where she stands with hexes these days. Come on, man. That was decades ago. You probably wouldn't even recognize each other. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I think I will come by. You! <laughs> no. You. You! Okay. Yo! Let's go. Mm -hmm. Here, let me take that for you, sis. Oh, that's very nice. I... Oh, God. Always. You almost done? About. Greg met an old friend at the grocery store, and he's just arrived. I think you might remember him, Chris Lillyhammer. He invited who? What, you don't remember him? He was in primary school with you. I mean, I think he left after the sixth grade, but I thought... Oh, no, I remember. I never forget a traitor fink. Ooh, that's dramatic. Dramatic. Dramatic! 
He doused me with fruit punch in front of the whole entire school, Mom. We were supposed to be partners in the science fair thing, and he betrayed me for a laugh. And then he moved away, but that didn't stop everyone from calling me Pinky Lane all through middle school. <laughs> well, now that so much time has passed, don't you think it's kind of a cute story? Childhood trauma is not cute, Ma. Well, he's here now, and he's asking after you, so come on out and say hello. <clears throat> Fine, but I will not be gracious. Oh, gee. I will not offer him any of the mini crab cakes. Oh, gee. <laughs> no, I won't. You. You. You're that Chris? You're Chris Lilyhammer. Ugh, I cannot believe I gave a ride to the Benedict Arnold of Hope Junction Elementary. Oh, come on, this is really something. I mean, it's, it's a small world, right? Did you I... know it was me? What's your angle, Lilyhammer? Huh? Where's the con? No con, just a, a con coincidence. See what I did there? <laughs> right, right. So you do remember each other. Unfortunately. Oh, listen, falling into your old banter already. No, that <laughs> is not what is happening, Mom. No, I, mm. no, I really think that we have a... Kind of a Sam and Diane kind of dynamic. No, yeah. that's terrible. Okay, you don't have a monopoly over everything old, okay? <whistles> Pinky Lane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pinky Lane. Are those mini crab cakes? No. Dad? Mini crab cake. Okay. Hmm. Angela. Mom? No, thank you. Mom, take one. No. Take one. I'm just gonna leave this right here. afternoon, huh? I was talking to your friend Chris. Did you know he builds a mean ham radio? Doubt it. Can't even jumpstart a car battery. Is that a metaphor? You know, your mother and I were thinking, wouldn't it be nice if you invited him to be your partner at the baking contest? No. Come on. Who knows? Maybe sparks will fly. They're gonna try to set me up with this guy the whole weekend. Well, I thought you said you thought he was cute. Uh, yeah. That was before I knew he was Chris Lilyhammer. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I should have smelt the evil on him from the very beginning. Boy, do you hold a grudge? I do not. I do not hold a grudge. Oh, yeah. Sure. Right. 20 years is totally casual. Hey, um, the Count of Monte Cristo called. He told you to lighten up. You know what? You know what? He really embarrassed me, okay? This is not something you just let go of. <sighs> what do I do? Well, maybe you should just try. I mean, I'm not saying let yourself get shoved into an arranged marriage, but try? I know you're right. Okay. Well, I guess I'll call you later. Okay, bye. I need starches. Louise? Hi, Jane. Is the dining room still open? No, sorry. It closes at 10, and it is currently 10.06. Darn. I'm feeling kind of snacky. Do you need starches? Yes, I do. I hear that. There are vending machines, if you don't mind something shrink-wrapped that has a questionable best before date. Two years and under? That's correct. Shrink wrap sounds amazing. Hmm. It's one of those days, huh? I would shrink wrap my brain right now if I could. 
Sounds delicious. Vending machines are down the hall to the right. You know what? Have a Twinkie on me. Thank you. Of course. Or some uh, mixed nuts. Thank you. And remember, Jean, why be a part of the A team when you can be a part of the B team? B team. B team all the way. All the way. Enjoy. Come on. Ah, <laughs> dinger. <laughs> what has that vending machine ever done to you? Are you cloning yourself? You just seem to be everywhere. Sounds like fate to me. Do you, um, need a hand there? What's it to you? Precious time. If you're gonna waste mine, just beating on that thing. Can I get in there? Be my guest. Yeah. But I have to warn you, that thing ate an entire cup holder's worth of quarters. Oh, that's a shame. I think it's jammed. That might be the technical term. I'm not too sure. Let me take a look. Hmm. Oh! Sounds like a bountiful harvest. How did you do that? Ah, uh, summers in college. I used to work for a factory that fixed these machines. You know, kind of. Looked at their programming codes a bit, and inside your tip, there's always an override, and I kind of just found it. I'm, I'm impressed. You're like Angelina Jolie in Hackers. I'm exactly like Angelina Jolie. There, I'm glad that we can agree on something. <laughs> so, uh, your parents, they, uh, really trying to set us up, huh? I'm sorry. It's just my brother's getting married in six months, and they're just on this overdrive kick to just pair me off with someone. That, I am not looking for anyone, I promise. And especially not you. Oh. That well, kind of came out wrong, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm, I'm not looking for anything either. I mean, the whole thing's kind of, kind of annoying, huh? I'm glad we can agree on something. Well, I mean, we just committed the great Pennsylvanian candy caper. <laughs> so we're bound together by this, really. Thick yeah. as thieves we are. We should get bracelets made. Or, uh, <laughs> binky rings. What about? Hmm? Uh, no, never mind, it's fine. No, what is it? Nothing, it was just a stupid idea I had, and I was just kinda... I don't know, civilization was founded on a series of stupid ideas. I'd love to hear it. Really? Okay. I was just thinking, you know, like, neither of us are looking for anything, right? So, if my parents have anything to say about it, the whole town's gonna try to set us up by the end of tomorrow. What if we just beat them to the punch? You know, we just tell everybody that we're already going out. You know, just for Thanksgiving weekend. And then we can just take some of the pressure off both of us, go our separate ways, and... Wow, you're terrified. It's insane. It's insane, yeah, but... There's a but. Yeah, I'll do it. What? I love lying to parents. It's hilarious. My parents think I'm a doctor. My grandmother thinks I'm a priest. Well, good night. Good night. I'm getting married, you know. Oh, I heard. There was just so much to do. Well, that's... And then your parents are throwing this brunch tomorrow, which I graciously offered to co-host. Are you coming to brunch? I mean, What I... am I saying? Of course you're coming to brunch. I'm shopping for it now. I'm making quiche Lorraine. How exotic. Isn't it? How are you, darling? I know the holidays can get a little lonely. Oh, I'm fine, really. I'm great. Well, we must find you someone. Imagine coming to your own brother's wedding without a date. Well, oh. it's six months away, so I'm not really stressing about it. I know, so little time. You know, Angela, you don't really have to worry about me. You know, I'm, I'm actually uh, seeing someone right now, and uh, I'm seeing him right now. Chris! Honey! Hey, you. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> so good. Uh, weren't you Greg's friend at the house yesterday? Huh? You didn't mention anything then. 
Well, it's just so new. <laughs> well, you know my pookie. You know, she gets so nervous. But I can assure you, we're crazy about each other. <laughs> well, how lovely for you. I hope to see you tomorrow at brunch, Chad. It's Chris. You bet. Okie dokie. Wow, you really jumped into that one, huh? Oh, I figured we gotta make it real, you know? Yeah, it was real. <laughs> 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Mrs. Yarrow! Do you remember Chris Lillyhammer? Chris, this is Mrs. Yarrow, a real pillar of our community. Oh, well, the pleasure's all mine, then. Oh. Now I remember you such a nice boy. Now, where did your parents end up? Uh, they retired to Costa Rica, actually. Oh, how tropical. Mm -hmm. Will I be seeing the both of you at the lane brunch tomorrow? We can catch up then, and I'll be making my mimosas. Oh, you know, I don't think that Brunch? Much. We love brunch. Love brunch. Oh. And I'll look forward to it. Of course. Have a nice day, Mrs. Yarrow. Oh, you too. Mm -hmm. Take care. Brunch. Fun, huh? How did I do? Hmm. We kind of um, knocked everyone off their feet. Including me. You know what? It was good. It was decent. It was a great effort. Okay, well, anything for my pookie. Plus, I love a good mimosa, so. What are you even doing here? A small town. Seasonal market. I was uh, being picturesque. You were being picturesque. Yeah, you know, picturesque. And charming. And handsome. And extremely modest. Oh, and, here. And you were what? Just stocking up on your flower? Uh, you yeah. got a big paper mache project on the go? Oh, no, no, no. I, um. I just need to practice for the upcoming town baking competition. Really? Yeah, I really wish I was joking, but yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> now he's being picturesque. I believe that would be me. Well, maybe I could uh, stop by this baking contest. Really? Maybe pick up a thing or two. Do you bake? No, not at all. That's why I could pick up a thing <laughs> or two. <laughs> OK. Uh, do you need a lift? Well, I'm happy to walk. But a few appointments. But okay. um, I guess I'll be seeing you around, darling. No! Okay, yes, was it that obvious? Uh, you're that obvious. I'm doing fine. And your long con? It's growing longer. Jane? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I really don't know what's happening. I panicked, he's being picturesque, it's... Don't tell me you're starting to, like, like this guy or something. No, 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 no. Just, just for one holiday, I would like to not be the aging spinster of Spruce Street, neighborhood children, cautionary tale. It's getting very old. Uh-huh. It's Chris Lillyhammer. We used to watch him burn ants with a magnifying glass. <laughs> I can't take him seriously as a romantic option. I just can't. If you say so. Don't look at me like that. How do you know how I'm looking at you? I know all your looks through intonation. Well, I mean... It's a little twisted, sister. I know you're right. Well, you know what? It's not forever. It's just for the week. And when they ask about him after this week? I'll break up with him on social media or something. Ah, a modern Machiavelli. Shut up. Thanks for calling. <laughs> Anytime, Peanut. Mm. Not that twisted. Someone very wise once said, you should never put off learning. Oh, yeah? Who said that? Me. Just now. Huh. So do you feel like making a play? You know, I've never had this feeling before, but... You're into it. Mm. Gentle. Okay. You must have been great with horses. What? Well, you know, your whole gentle approach. I really wouldn't know anything about that. The closest I've ever gotten to a stable was when the mystery took Nancy Drew there. You better not be knocking my girl Nancy. 
Those books are cool. You would not write a single Nancy Drew book. I have three sisters, okay? Nancy gets chloroformed a lot for a kid. Can't be good for her. Yeah, you read them. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, what next? Uh, now we roll. Okay. And more flour, great. You ready to roll? Sure. Knock yourself out. Hey, you know what? Why don't you get in here, Jeremy? Show you how to roll. All right. Step aside, rookie. Okay, I see. So. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, that's nice. Is it? Is it working for you? <laughs> you want to do it properly? Mm. Okay, so I just. Oh. Oh, yeah. Pretty quickly. Well, got a pretty good teacher. Thanks. So I was talking to my friend Daria today, and she thinks what we're doing is ridiculous. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What exactly is it that we are doing? I don't know. Pretending to go out to get my parents off our backs. My back. Really. Well, it would only be ridiculous if you quietly fell in love with me throughout the process. But I mean, I don't, I don't see that happening. I do not see that happening. No. This lane is closed. See what you did there. I'm still kind of compartmentalizing that science fair incident. I dumped fruit punch on you 20 years ago. OK, you got to get past that. No one even calls you Pinky Lane anymore. You did. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> OK, I'm, I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. But I was just a kid, right? And I would never leave you in the clutch like that again. I don't know that. I don't trust you. OK, well, OK, how about this? In the interim, you just fake trust me. You know, because I would feel really fake bad if I hurt you again. It's going to be a fake boyfriend. That's completely circumstantial. I think the word that you're looking for is convenient. I wanted to fake date you so I wouldn't have to real date you. The pie's done. Looks amazing. Yeah, it does. You make a pretty good team. Smooth. Silver tongue devil, I am. Oh my god! You really are dating Chris Lillian. Greg? What are you doing here? Oh, some greeting. Sorry, you just took me by surprise. I was in the neighborhood. Angela told me you said you'd be baking all day. I thought I'd drop by. She told me about this, too, but I was sure she had to be wrong. Greg, can I have a word with you outside for a minute? Mm hmm. Of all the people to date, him. Uh, what is wrong with Chris? He was your friend first. And he was supposed to be your nemesis. So, things can change. This doesn't have anything to do with mom throwing him at you, does it? What? No, of course not. Why do you even care, anyway? Huh? I thought you'd be thrilled that I'm seeing someone. Just check off plus one on the wedding invitation. Yeah, something doesn't add up here. And I'd much rather have you no plus one than pay for your phony plus one. There is. Nothing phony going on here. Sure. Honestly. We we are crazy about each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You will see tomorrow at brunch. Everything uh okay out here? Oh, it's fine. I suppose I'll uh see you tomorrow. You're gonna have to bring your A game tomorrow. And the great fake boyfriend caper continues. Brought to you by Zappos. Chewing tobacco for children. If you want to be a real choo-choo Charlie, hitch your train to this caboose. Wow, you are really enjoying yourself. Me? No, not at all. Also, Zappos Turtle Wax. Get the shell out of here, ladies. Wrap it up. OK. No, go on. You're
you're the cutest thing in the whole world. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you for calling me cute every day. Every single day. And that's what I want you to do in our marriage. You done? <gasps> Jane! Excuse me, for okay. Would you like to try some of my cake? Oh, I would love to try yeah, some of your cake. Looks delicious. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, like it. Oh, Jane! <laughs> Chris, nice to see you again. Thanks. Remember, he's Jane's new boyfriend. That's right. Uh, thanks so much for having me. Oh, I just knew the two of you would hit it off. And you brought a pie? We sure did. We brought it for the host. How thoughtful. I'll, I'll take that. Uh, I'm just going to help Greg with that. Chris Lilyhammer. You know, it's like something out of a story. Maybe it's true what they say about kids who pick on each other in the playground. It is not. Hey, Greggy. Yeah, what are you going with that pie, bud? Well, let's just put it, um, yeah, I'll put it on the table. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, oh. Enjoy. Hey, what is going on? What are you doing with her? Quiche Lorraine, isn't oh. it glamorous? <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Yarrow. Hello. Now, I just saw Chris over at the buffet table. You two make an adorable couple. Thank you very much, Mrs. Yarrow. And to think you knew each other for years. Now, when did you realize that things were special between you two? Oh, uh, it was, I, I was, I, um, I was, uh... I was kindergarten. Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah, uh, Jane came in with a melted typewriter oh. for show and tell. And I just thought to myself, I mean, clearly, that's the girl for me, right? <laughs> you did not. No, it's true. Yeah, I just thought you were so strange and, and cool. And then I lost her. That's probably my biggest regret. But uh, now I found her. And uh, I gotta say, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world. Oh, how romantic. Yeah, it's... Chris, it's tender and full of yearning. I cannot get enough. <laughs> no, she can't. It's great. Yeah. Jane? Oh, 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 I'm so glad you came. Have you tried the quiche Lorraine? No. Oh, it is to die for. Honestly, Angela, kudos to the chef, and we had Thank better you. see you compete at tomorrow's bake off. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> I want you to meet a couple oh, of people. Jane, you naughty girl. You were hiding your bow from us. Please, tell me how you met. Oh, you didn't hear? It was at the zoo. Um, he was strapped in a cage, and I just busted him out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I will never understand that wild wit of yours. <laughs> the zoo? Sorry, I panicked. Look, this is your little plan. Okay, I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm the only one who's committed to this relationship. Oh, I'm sorry. Which relationship? The one that we just made up? The fake one? What did she say? Nothing. Jane has a very creative relationship with the truth. Don't you agree? Well, she's, uh, she's a very talented young woman. Oh, that's a funny way of saying disaster. Greg, do not start. I'm just saying you're a complete disaster. Well, disaster is a pretty seductive term, don't you think? Well, I... I mean, what's the old adage? I mean, surgery looks like murder halfway through. <laughs> Are you going with this? <laughs> don't knock an unfinished product. I mean... All of the genius ingredients are right here. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a mixed metaphor, so... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Greg. Still a bit of a dork, huh? Yes! Mm. You have to try this. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm full. I'm full. I'm full. My tummy is so full, baby. I can't have another bite. Okay. Dad, have you tried the quiche? Uh, she saved me some crust. Your family really, uh, seems... Invasive? I was gonna say that they really seem to love you. Really? Even Greg? I'm sure Greggy boy loves you in his own way. I mean, you're very lovable. It's just us right now, Chris. You don't have to pretend. Who's pretending? Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> I mean, really, I've never had a better fake girlfriend. Gee, thanks. Oh, Jane. Jane, 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 Jane. Hi. Yeah, hi. Is everything okay? Could you come with me for a moment? I'm a little scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> you look beautiful, by the way. Follow me. <laughs> Have a great night. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, what is 
all this. I just wanted to surprise you. I'm surprised. Also, I wanted to, um... What? You know what? That can wait. Why don't you, uh, take a seat? Huh? Okay. I made everything myself. Oh. Wow. Like an adult man. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. Thank you. You know how to commit to a bit. Yeah. What? Oh, oh hey, uh, what you doing there? Social media. It's a great idea. This really adds this whole thing in there of authenticity, you know? That's the uh, idea. Yeah, let's get some glasses in there, you know? It's really cute. Oh, it looks so real. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. Yeah. Oof. What is this? Uh, ravioli from scratch. You wouldn't know it, but I'm uh, full blood Sicilian. This is beautiful. Thanks. All right, shall we? Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Mm, that's the last of the good ideas. Do you know what I can't stop thinking about? What's that? That story that you told at brunch. The attention to detail. I mean, you are really good at this. That's because it's a true story. No, no, I know, I know. But, like, the way you made it so romantic. Nah, it's just a true story. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you practically made me believe it. It yeah, was... You're, no, you're not really getting this. Okay, the reason that it sounds like a true story is because it is a true story. Oh. Come on. I like you, Jane. I've always liked you. Oh. Is that all you have to say to that? I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. Okay, I just thought, you know, these past couple days, I really thought that there was something there, and I, I thought that you felt it too. I, uh... But, you know, maybe you didn't, and I completely misread the situation, and uh, now I'm making everything awkward, and I'm an idiot. So. No, you're not an idiot. Um, I just... I just didn't really see this coming. Yeah, well, you know, that can happen when you build walls up around yourself. You don't build walls up around myself? Yeah. You do, though. So why do you like me, then? Sounds like an awful lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been worth it. You know, if maybe you consider you know, going out with me sometime. For real. The baking competition is tomorrow. Okay. I need a partner. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You don't want me as your baking partner. Come on, you see me in action. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. So let's just go together then. Okay. For real. <laughs> I like that. Okay, well, I mean. At least I know that if I'm there with you, I've already taken the top prize. Because you weren't going to snatch up that trophy like a pair of hot dice. It's not beating the bricks like they owe us money. We'll make it to Chicago in time to see ourselves on the evening news. It'll be Pinky Jane Lane and Chris Lilyhammer in the great pie caper. I'm kind of starting to regret this. I completely understand. <laughs> She's taking my place as the judge at the bake-off this year. I have a bit of a funny tummy. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, you didn't happen to have any of that quiche, did you? Oh, I, I do not recall. Oh, oh, you would. But I do remember you said it was fantastic. Uh, did I? <laughs> have you seen Chris by any chance? 
Did he go by somewhere? The dining room, maybe. Oh, no, I haven't seen him, but I, I just started my shift. Did, oh. mm, did you two have any plans? We did, yes. Oh, maybe he thought he was meeting me at the competition hall. Yeah, that, that must be what happened. You know what? If you see him, could you please tell him that I'm going to go and meet him at the competition hall right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Say bees. Bees. <laughs> okay, you be sure to send that to me, okay, Mary? Okay. to thank everyone for joining us in this year's annual Thanksgiving Bake Off. My name is Eloise. I'll be your judge for today's event. Mrs. Yarrow had a bit of a funny tummy today. And for those of you asking, no, I did not poison her to take her place. <laughs> okay. In a few short moments, I'll be coming around to each of your stations to give you your team numbers. And please, remember the three Bs. Be safe, be alert, and be yourself. It's not about winning, it's about having fun. Okay, let the baking begin. Thank you. Where's your, uh, your boyfriend? Hmm, where's your fiance? I, 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 don't mind your brother. He's in a nasty mood today because Angela came down with a nasty case of food poisoning last night. Let me guess, quiche Lorraine. It could have been anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where is Chris? He's uh, running late. Running scared, more like. I, I, uh, I know. Why don't the two of you set up as a pair for the contest? Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> no way, Mom. Hard pass. But you two used to love playing restaurant when you were little. Yeah, Mom, when I was six. The food was imaginary. Jane couldn't screw it up. I couldn't screw it up? When we were in high school, you almost went down the house trying to microwave lasagna wrapped in tinfoil. How was I supposed to know you can't put metal in a microwave? Everybody, Everybody knows, knows that. that. Well, if you knew that and you didn't say anything, Jane, that's your fault. That's on you. Uh, on me, right? Pointing. Great. Yeah, is this supposed to be teamwork? I cannot compete under these conditions. No. No. Excuse me. Is everything all right? Oh, everything is fine. Uh, I will be competing alone today. Me too. Oh, um, this is awkward, but we are not allowing single participants this year. Safety regulations. I'm sorry, safety regulations? Yes. Well... Mrs. Gelman burned off both of her eyebrows last year. Oh, I remember. They never grew back quite right. Exactly. And maybe if she'd been competing in a pair, it wouldn't have happened. Or, at the very least, her partner could have put out the fire in time to save her eyelashes. Tough break? Yes. So, pairs only. Singles have to sit this one out, I'm afraid. Story of my life. Yeah, listen. I know that the two of you, once you start baking, you'll, you'll get along like a house on fire. <laughs> Cheese and crackers, Mary, please. A little sensitivity in the word choice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So, what do you say? Fine. I am going to make a phone call. She'll be right back. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Very nice. Do you, um, do you know if Chris has come back to his room yet? Hmm. Did he maybe leave a message for me? Could you, could you please check? Nothing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Yarrow. <sighs> I guess we're doing this. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Here are your team numbers. Yep. Jane. I believe in you, Jane. Thank you. Okay? Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. See you, Dad. 
You better not cost me that prize. Um, I'm not the one who's cooking, but his fiance in the hospital last night. She baked that quiche. I knew it was the quiche Lorraine. Whatever, just start measuring out the ingredients, okay? And the measuring cups are on your side. What, are your T-Rex arms? Use your reach. Well, at least get the butter out so we can start them a crust. Butter? No, no. Grandma's crust uses lard. Yeah, that's disgusting. Uh, it's in the original recipe. Yes, her 60-year-old recipe. Jane, times have changed. Childhood obesity is on the rise. Lard is out, butter is in. It is an essential ingredient. It is the whole reason why the crust comes out so flaky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe the way you bake, I am resourceful enough to make do. Make do all you want, but uh, key ingredients are kind of added for a reason. Now, I know that common sense has sort of skipped this whole situation, but you know what? Since we have to work together, can we at least just do it right? Yeah, you are so stuck in your thinking, Jane. This is exactly why you're in a rut. I, I am not in a rut. I do what works, not what my cookie cutter perfect fiance says is healthy. Well, at least I have a fiance. Tell me something, could Chris really not make it, or is he just sick after spending a single afternoon with you? I am sure there is a perfectly good explanation yeah, for- uh, I bet he could smell the desperation on you. Probably smelled like old cats and boxed wine. Did Angela wake up sick, or did she just sort of feel like coming on when she saw your face this morning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, at least I have someone to go home to, unlike you, who has nobody. Because you're a loser, Jane, and nobody wants to come home to a loser. Yeah, real mature, Jane. Just run away from your problems. <laughs> oh, man. Jane, what happened? This guy's just being a jerk. Greg's always being a jerk. It's how he shows affection. You really think that? Of course. He's your brother. He loves you. I don't think he does. I think he thinks I'm a waste of space and an embarrassment to the family. No. But I think he's right. You know, I mean, somehow he's always right about everything. Is this about Chris? <laughs> Come on. He didn't even show Dad. He knew this was important to me. He didn't even show. Janie, guys are just... Dad. I'm so sorry you disappointed you. Dad. What? Chris was never my boyfriend. I just talked him into saying that to just get you guys to leave me alone. What? For a second there, I know I, I, I thought there was something there. But nope. Um, I just... It turns out I'm just an idiot, no. so... Janie, you shouldn't be twisting yourself up like this. No one's worth it. And I think you've made the right choice and you had the right idea of focusing on your career. Dad. It's always something you've been so proud of, having a job, working with computers in a big city. I was laid off, Dad, three weeks ago. Oh, Cut Janie, back. Janie, I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh, you've been having such a hard time, my little girl. I just wish I'd known sooner. I just didn't know how to tell you guys. Everyone is so proud of Greg and Angela just moving their lives forward. And I just, I just, I just, I feel so lost, Dad. I... Everybody feels lost sometimes. No, I feel lost all the time. Everybody feels like that sometimes, too. <laughs> and you know, you know, it may, it may not be the big city. But your mother and I could help you find a job. We might know someone, and you could stay at home for a Dad. while. No, Dad. Jamie, it could be good for you. Come home, have a peaceful place, figure out what you want. I will think about it. I hope you do. You ready to get back in there? No. Come on, you're getting back in there. Come oh. on. <laughs> Lard in the crust? Uh, butter, actually. Butter, okay. Oh, back from putting up lost posters? Maybe your boyfriend doesn't want to be found. Look, may I, uh, be excused? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Cards on the table. Chris isn't my boyfriend. I knew it. I knew you made that up. Why do you think I did? Why are you always looking for ways to tear me down? Me? All you ever do is take shots at me. You know, it's one thing to be jealous, but... Jealous? You think I'm jealous of you? Oh, see, there you go. More shots. Okay. 
How do you expect me to be nice to you when all you do is just, just be a jerk to me? How do you expect me not to be a jerk when all you ever do is just tear down my success? That's gonna come out hard if you keep doing that. Mm -hmm. Jane, good evening. So good about it. Oh, who's spatting your cranberries? Sorry. It's been a really rough day. Oh. Were you and Chris competing in the bake-off today? Oh, I guess it didn't go that well, did it? Nope. It did not. Mm. And we didn't win either. Oh. Um, hey, were there any calls or messages for me? Sorry, no. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Well, if there are any messages or calls. No, you know what? No. No messages, no calls. The do not disturb sign is on my door. You got it. Hey, girl, how are things in Hope Junction? Terrible. Do you have time to talk? For you, always. Just a minute. So, Chris blew me off. Huh. Yeah, you don't sound surprised. Well, what did you expect? We've always known he sucks. <laughs> He's changed. Mm -mm. People don't change, not really. Oh, girl. The way my life's been going lately, I really need to believe that's not true. <sighs> so, my dad told me I should move back home today. I'm thinking about it. What? Leave me behind? You wouldn't dare. I'm not like you. I, you're flourishing in the city, and I'm just floundering. Maybe it's time I do something different and recharge. Well, if that's what you think is best, I just want you to be happy. Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, because everybody loves you. It really doesn't feel like it. Oh, honey. Oh, man, I'm sorry I'm being such a sap. <laughs> um, I gotta go. Someone's at the door. All right. Bye, sweetie. Come in. No. Wait, come on. Wow. Jane, please, just let me explain myself. No way. Jane, come on. Sure. Go ahead, explain. Explain how you stood me up. I wasn't trying to stand. In front of my family? In front of everyone in town. I knew you weren't to be trusted. Okay, look, knew I, it. I know that this looks bad, but look, I really, really have to do something better, right? Kind of. Well, no, not like that. Come on, no, no, no. I don't mean it like that. No! Away! Stop, Chris Lillyhammer! Jane, just let me talk to you for a little bit. I am okay? gonna count to five. And if by the time I'm finished, you are still there, I am gonna call the front desk and I'm gonna complain. Jane, don't do that. One, two, three! I have to be someplace. Four! All right, fine, if that's what you want. Please, give me a chance here. Listen. <sighs> I gotta get out of here.
Joe. You've reached the Lane residence. If you want to leave us a message, do so. Hey, Mom. It's me. Um, I was just, um, I was talking to Dad earlier, and, um... You know, I was, I was really thinking about what he was saying, and I, I think he's right, and, um... I'm really tired, and, um, it's been a really long last couple of days, and I... I think I'm ready to, uh, come home for a bit. And recharge. So, I, I will see you guys later. Can I sit? What are you doing here? I've been stalking you. <laughs> it's the only place that's open. Everywhere else is closed for the holidays. Think I can explain myself now? Go ahead. I'm not actually in town for a conference. I'm here for a job interview. Okay. I was let go six months ago, and it's been really rough out there trying to find work. So when I had the opportunity to interview for the school system out here, I mean, I, I jumped at the chance. So today... I got the call this morning. And I promise, I really didn't think that it was going to take that long. But the guy, Frank, the superintendent, he kept me there for like four hours. But I think it went really well. I mean, he basically showed me my classroom. So why didn't you just say that? I don't know. I was embarrassed. I didn't think that you'd go with some unemployed bum. <laughs> I'm unemployed. Oh. Good. I mean, now I'll have someone to share my chips on the couch with who isn't my dog. Yeah, it's been kind of bleak. <laughs> but I'm here now. I mean, do you think that you could forgive me? Of course I forgive you. I get it. You did what you had to do. You did you. And I did me. So, where does that leave us? Jane, this, this is us. Yeah, I know, that's, that's, a, that's a problem. Do you know when we were kids and you embarrassed me? That sucked. But you know what sucked even more was that you abandoned me. And it made me feel very small and it made me feel very worthless. I know, but Jane, that, that was 20 years ago. I mean, we talked about this. Yeah, but you did it again to me. Today. And I'm not a kid anymore. I've been through enough to know what I want. And what I want is a true partner who shows up, who sees all the walls that I put up, and who convinces me to tear them down, and, and who doesn't crush my exposed heart within 24 hours. No, no, I, I want to be that guy. I can be that guy. I'm the guy. You say that. Talk a really good game, Lily Hammer. And then this is all pretend. I'm done pretending. No, I, I'm done pretending. I'm pretty sure that pretending is killing me. I'm pretty sure pretending is all we have. Oh. I think you should go. Hello? Jane, um, it's Greg, it's, uh, it's your brother. Uh, he's been in an accident. What? Whoa, 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 slow down, what? What do you mean? Is he okay? Well, he was raking leaves off the roof and he fell. <laughs> okay, is he okay though? Yes, but I think you should come home as soon as you can. Okay? Okay. 
Yes, yes, I need a cab. Uh, two hours? No, no, I am aware it's Thanksgiving. This is an emergency, I need... Are you hearing me? This is an emergency. Great, well, thank you very much. Thank you for nothing. Happy holidays. Jane! Do you need a ride? Is Greg gonna be okay? I, I don't know. How did you just show, show up? Showing up and stalking are kind of different things. I was not stalking, I was, I was just watching you from my car. From a distance. Like a stucker. Are you being funny right no. now? Do you think that ugh, you are deep in the red lily hammer? You looked like you needed help. And and you had nothing better to do, so just hey, look if it was my choice, I never would have left. Ever. Just doesn't let you off the hook, you know. I really don't trust you. I'm, I'm painfully aware of that. But you know, there's a lot worse things in the world to distrust than a guy who teaches English to eighth graders who's been in love with you since kindergarten. You have not been in love with me since kindergarten. Jane, that, that, that's the one thing right now, Jane, that, that's just really not up to you. Why wouldn't I be? You're Jane Lane. Oh, there they are. Mom? Is he okay? He's fine. He has a mild concussion and a broken wrist, but he's resting in there. How did this happen? Oh, he was on a wobbly ladder holding a rake in one hand. These things happen. No, they don't happen. Not on Thanksgiving. You know, the last thing I did was fight with him. Uh, oh, you brought Chris. Hey. Huh? He was, he was my ride. Your ride. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, the weirdest thing. We were both at the, um, the thing. Yeah, Greg? Where is Greg? He's in the other room. J go ahead and just let him know you're here. Okay. I'll stay and keep Chris company. <laughs> How are you feeling? Did you get anything to eat? Does your wrist hurt? Whoa, whoa, whoa. slow down one, one, one question at a time. But I, I banged my coconut pretty good. Sorry. What happened? Well, you know that step on the ladder that isn't really a step? Yep. Oh my God. You could have died. But I didn't. You could have died. And the last thing I would have said to you is that you're a jerk who manhandled pastry dough and I couldn't live with myself if that happened, you know? Yeah, that would be awful for you. Is that all you want to say? Oh, well, I'm concussed. I get to say whatever I want. Wow, you're the worst. Hey, hey, hey. I'm kidding. Okay? I was a jerk who horribly manhandled that pastry dough. I'm sorry. Wow. Not for serious. I've had a lot of time to think lying here, and I think I know that I've been a little hard on you. Wow, Greg. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. Oh, well, we're family. We should at least get along during the holidays, right? We should. So, friends? Friends. Oh. On one condition. Mm hmm? I get to be the first one to sign your cast. <laughs> oh, God. We should put this down. Now. I'm 
gonna get you that food. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so my dog always has her head stuck out the window when I'm driving, right. which is a compromise because she knows I don't like it when she smokes. <laughs> <laughs> you two look uh, cozy. Oh, Chris and I were having a nice chat. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. Where's Dad? Oh, he went to get us something to eat. Chris, would you mind calling him, seeing what's keeping him? Uh, speed dial one. Yep, I can do that. I like him. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> Is he maybe the reason you're thinking of staying in town? Mom, no. I want to come home. You were right. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. That could be the worst. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt that Chris is also staying in town. Huh? <laughs> hey. uh, he said he's just around the corner. Oh, did he? Hmm. What's going on in here? Hmm. <laughs> oh, come on in. Here they are. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> wow, quite the color. And Sam. Hey, hey. You sticking around this time? Trying to. I can work with that. <laughs> Guys, I'm standing right here. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> oh. Who could this be? I will answer it. Hmm. Hello? Happy Thanksgiving! Why does your voice sound so weird? Oh my god, you're here. <laughs> oh, he's here! Yeah. I flew in last night. You're not the only one with family in town. Oh, now it really is a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> That's Chris. Wow, you grew up good. I'm uh, sitting right here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I got something for you. Why? You shouldn't have. Thanksgiving. Oh, it's a bus ticket. OK, I know you drive. It's more symbolic than anything. My way of saying that I get that this is where you need to be now, but I'll always be a bus right away. I love you. <laughs> Thank you, darling. You're welcome. It works both ways, you know, Daria. You know you're always welcome here. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> let's have a drink. Yes, yes. let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so yeah. good. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Hi, Daria. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and what do you think for this year, Jane? Oh, my great hair and killer wit, naturally. Oh, you're a geek. <laughs> I'm thankful that my car broke down last week. It changed my life, really. Oh, you're a sap. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> but it brought me to you. Plus, I got to learn some wicked vending machine tricks, so you got that going for me. <laughs> I guess I'm also thankful that you were there for me. Mm. I really don't know how I could have gotten through today without you. Well, maybe you wouldn't have to. You just let me in a little. Well, maybe I think about it if you're serious about sticking around. I'm serious. You're serious. Happy Thanksgiving, gang.